Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you, Mr. Attorney General. Um, I want to cover a couple of areas, but I want to start with something that's very important to me. I think it's important to all people in this country of good conscience, um, irrespective of their political ideation, and that is the independence of the Department of Justice. And uh, in my judgment, 2016 and 2017 have been challenging years for the Department of Justice. Uh, you know, the decision to charge someone carries with it multiple layers of review. Um, there's, there's a grand jury, there's a pettit jury, there's a trial judge, there are post-trial motions, there's appellate courts, there are courts of habeas corpus, and then there's the media, and then there's, there's Congress. But the decision not to charge someone does not carry with it the same corresponding layers of review. Um, but in some instances, it's every bit as important to understand why law enforcement did not do something and why prosecutors did not do something. Um, I'm not interested in relitigating uh, the FBI's decision not to charge Secretary Clinton. That decision's been made, it's been explained, um, and I'm not interested in relitigating it. I am, however, interested in reviewing uh, 2016 and 2017 with respect to the Department of Justice. And Mr. Attorney General, there was a time when my colleagues on the other side of the aisle were interested um, in, in having some of these questions answered. As well, it wasn't a year ago that, that, that some of my Democrat friends wanted Jim Comey investigated and prosecuted for a Hatch Act violation. That was 12 months ago. Um, and, and it was absurd then, and it's absurd now. But what's not absurd is, is when my Democrat colleagues ask, why did you decide to publicize one investigation but not another? Um, why did you decide to appropriate a decision away from the Justice Department, which is very unusual for the head of the FBI to serve as both the investigator and the decision maker? Um, it, just like Republicans wanted to know, Mr. Comey, did you reach your conclusions before the end of the investigation? Did you make decisions whether to charge or not to charge before you interviewed all of the witnesses. Uh, these are questions that, to me, go to the core of whether or not the department can be respected um, separate and aside from politics. I mean, I, 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 I get, I guess, that, that certain departments are just inherently political, but the Department of Justice should not be. Um, and, and so I, I, I tell you that up front, that, that Chairman Goodlatte uh, and I are going to be looking into the decisions made in 2016 and 2017. And, and I think I can speak for him, and I, I know I can speak for myself. My motivation is, is a love for that department and a love for the concept of blind justice that doesn't care whether it's an even-numbered year or an odd-numbered year. And to the extent that there were decisions made, including the decision to, to, to write a public letter in October of last year and, and follow that up with another public letter in November, those are legitimate questions, and I hope that the department will cooperate both res with respect to making witnesses available, but also with, with respect to documents so Congress can better understand the decisions that were made and not made and, and restore some modicum of trust um, that all people, whether they agreed with the decisions or not, at least understand why they were made. Now, Mr. Conyers asked you whether or not it was appropriate for the president uh, to could, I, could I respond just briefly sure. to that? Yes, sir. Um, you're familiar with uh, the uh, Inspector General, I'm meeting uh, with and they make, uh, they make public uh, their investigations. And several of the matters that involve the FBI are in the full and intense review uh, by the Inspector General, and perhaps uh, they can, under their rules of disclosure, perhaps you can inquire more about how that's ongoing but uh, I'm not able to give the details to you at this time. That's a, a serious matter. It's in my response to the chairman uh, of yesterday. Well, I, I didn't intend to ask you to respond to it because I, you're right. Mr. Horowitz is looking into it. In fact, I'm meeting with Mr. Horowitz this afternoon, um, not in that capacity, but in another. And you're right. At some point, he's going to let Congress know what he found, but that does not absolve us of our responsibility to also look into it. Mr. Conyers, ask you whether or not it was appropriate for the president to weigh in in an ongoing investigation. And of course, the answer to that is no. It is not appropriate. It's not appropriate in 2017. It wasn't appropriate when President Obama did it in the IRS targeting scandal. It wasn't appropriate when President Obama did it in the ongoing investigation into Hillary Clinton's server. It is never appropriate for a president 
to tell a Department of Justice what outcome it should reach. I just wish my friends on the other side had the same outrage when President Obama did it as they do now. I mean, I, I, I guess that's what I'm, this will be my last question to you. You're, you're nominated by a president. You're approved by a Senate, but yet you work for a virtue. You work for a blindfolded woman holding a set of scales, and that is what makes our culture different. How do you restore people's trust, Republicans and Democrats, confidence in a Department of Justice when it seems like different rules apply depending on who's in power? The time That's of the gentleman has expired. The Attorney General will be well, permitted to answer. Well, it's a good question and an important question. We intend to do our work according to the established principles of the Department of Justice. We will not be infected by politics or bias. Uh, we will uh, make only decisions we believe are right and just, and we're not going to uh, use the department to unlawfully advance a political agenda. We're going to uh, uh, enforce the laws of this country effectively as Congress has passed them, and I am determined that when uh, the years go by, that people will say this Department of Justice did not crumble. It stayed firm and true to the great principles that I was taught in the 15 years I served in the Department of Justice, two and a half as an assistant, 12 as United States attorney, and looking up to the attorney general is somehow so far removed from me that uh, it was beyond recognition. But now I'm in that position. I think I understand the gravity of it. I think I understand the uh, importance of responding to your question, and we'll do our best.